everyone, it's time for another fry pan today, and actually a new cider called Sci-Fi, not sponsored, never even had it before, but see if it's any good. This is an IKEA fry pan, as you can see it's a similar form to the other ones, it's Teflon, handle on both sides, induction safe, oven safe, and it's called the Vidagen, or some crap, I'll post a link to it below. I uh, got this because I was looking at IKEA and I found some IoT stuff that I'm going to put on the new Tinkers channel, which I'll post about in another video, but I've got three channels now. Uh, cooking, Tinkers, which is like IoT shit, and then if I can hold my fingers right, hit, oh uh, no. Anyway, gaming. So I'll put links below, but I was looking for an induction cooker. Yes, IKEA make a portable induction cooker, which I actually have over there keeping my shoes safe. I'll make a video when I get a chance, but this, this is about... This new fry pan cost 40 bucks, $5 shipping, 32 centimeters like everything else. Need a drink. Mmm. It's not a bad, not a bad cider. Not too sweet. A little bit sour, a bit, a bit peary. Nice. Uh, we're going to do the usual test, so let's see how this holds up. First things first, it's going on about longest life scratch resistance, best performance, Teflon, blah, 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 blah. Um, I just thought, I don't need that. <laughs> Go away. Just get a spoon. Cause Forty bucks you'd expect to be pretty good. Yeah, that seems to be holding out pretty good. So I'll know in the future if that spot ever gives up, and I'll make a note of it. But for now, we're gonna crank the gas up, and then once I feel it's nice and warm, I don't have my temperature doohickey here with me. I'm gonna crack an egg on it and see how that sticks. And I'm gonna cut in between a bit of a different form factor video this time, keep it short, so catch in a tick. Now in case you haven't seen previous ones, I usually go for uh, that. This one's my favorite ever. It's a $24 fry pan from Kmart, and then this thing just wasn't great. It cost too much, it's a KitchenAid piece of crap. Uh, I figure 40 bucks is somewhere in the middle, and I've got my hopes up really, but we'll, we'll crack a few things up. So first things first, let's get an egg on there. And we'll just see how much this egg sticks when it's cooked. All right, it's been a couple of minutes, three or four minutes. I um, I just chucked the lid over it so the top cooks too, and I plucked those two bits of shells off because if you haven't burnt eggshells before, it's fucking disgusting. Now, I haven't cleaned this fry pan at all first, um, so this might even be carcinogenic, but there's no oil, nothing on this. So I literally just chucked the egg in, let it cook with the lid on for a couple of minutes to see how it turns out. And the reason I like these fry pans, if you missed it in a previous one, is you can also take them camping and like balance this end over a campfire. So they're good camping. You can hang them up by this end, which is super handy. Non-stick, uh, induction happy, not the thickest base, oven safe. The handle looks okay. I was studded in there. They didn't Teflon over the studs, which doesn't really affect me. But now let's just see. I've not touched this. I don't know how much it's going to stick. No. Oh. Doing this Cody's lab style with one hand is spastic. I left a, uh, not bad. That can go in there for me to eat later. Let's just grab the wooden spatch and see how easily this comes off. I left my tripod out at the other house. Yeah. Look, I gotta say, I think, I actually think that the Kmart one did better. Uh, let's tuck that in there. Give it a quick wipe. Yeah, that's close enough to clean. Then we'll do the cheese test. Uh, cheese emits its own oils anyway, but that's fine for me. We'll see how this goes. Alright, we burnt this cheese a fair bit. It started smoking a lot, so I've had to turn it off. And uh, I drained a bit of the oil as I went, but... Oh. Cheese over easy. Um, that didn't stick at all. I'm not sure if it's just because I'm not using the normal plastic sliced cheese or what, but... Yeah, I'm definitely adding that to my egg pile, eating that later, but... That'll do. But sugar's gonna be the good one, and I'll, I'll cool it down 
after this sugar, and I'm using some brown sugar this time so it melts nice and quick. We'll crank that back up. And um, so far, not hugely impressed. I mean, that egg really stuck a fair bit, a lot more than a lot of others. So 40 bucks is pushing it. This one might go in the camp pile. It is a little bit thin and flimsy, especially this handle's got a bit of wobble. Actually, what we didn't test is uh, how flat is it? Oh yeah, that is very flat at least. So what I might even do in the end is just chuck in a pile of water and see how much it warps. And we'll, yeah, let's do that. We'll do that to cool it down quickly. But for now, we'll uh, melt this, gonna call it butter or cheese? No, it's brown sugar. I clearly need more or less or something in between of this stuff. What is it? I need. That's garbage words. Uh, well, then we'll cool it down, and this is probably gonna suck. This might go in the bin afterwards. Uh, or the camping pile and everything tastes sweet for a while. Let's find out. Alright, it's immediately smoking. Um, it's gonna be burnt as fuck. I've got the fan on, I've got the pink sink, sink filling up with cold water. And we'll just wait for this to settle down a bit. The gas is off now. And chuck it in and see if we can fuck up the fry pan and uh, super cool this nice and quick. So if it's not obvious, I kind of lost interest in this fry pan as soon as that egg stuck. Um, don't buy it. Spend half your money at Kmart, which is probably closer, and get a way better fry pan. Not you. That one. Uh, so that is burnt all hell. And what we're going to do now, and don't do this either at home because you've got to be smarter than me. this fry pan right down. This is really, really not good for fry pans. It's good to heat your... Oh, is that going to float? Neat. That makes it easy. I can hold this phone with two hands. Yeah, not good for fry pans, especially if there's multiple layers of metal. I really doubt this has multiple layers of metal for how thin that is, at least. Yeah, no, that is a very thin bottom. I think this is a $10 fry pan that just happens to have uh, Swedish name which is really really a shame so i'm going to give this a tick to cool down and we'll see how stuck this is because i didn't wipe this down even i took the cardboard off and i cooked in it that should be premium teflon besides the spot where it was there that i gave her a bit of a bit of a scratchy scratch so not for 40 bucks 45 bucks including shipping um Something's got to change, and this is this is the only fry pan that IKEA has with these specs. You know, with the oven safe handle on both sides, sort of specs. So it's pretty disappointing, IKEA. I don't have high hopes for your induction cooker anymore. Cool down enough that I can touch the sugar lava. Oh, that's water underneath still. With my hands and uh, have high hopes. Guard me. Oh. Okay. Oh, you got no idea how hard this is. That. That was better than I expected. I don't know why. I'm still not impressed with this in the slightest. Um, the egg shouldn't have stuck like it should. Maybe because I cooled the pan so quickly. From the bottom, the metal had shrunk, but the sugar hasn't, and so it separated itself a bit there. I don't know. It, it, it doesn't encourage me. These tests are kind of garbage anyway, as I'm sure you know. The main thing is the egg. You cook eggs, the eggs stuck a fair bit, more than I would expect from a brand new fry pan. And for 40 bucks, a $20 fry pan does better. So I wouldn't buy this. Uh, I would like and subscribe to my channel. If you don't like this janky shorthand, one hand format, let me know. I don't really like it. If you do, let me know too. Um, but otherwise, I've got a Patreon now and I put some links like for a PayPal.me and Patreon and stuff on the other about page. So you can send me ideas or money of what you want me to test out in whatever way you want and I'll give it a crack. Just might take a little while because I'm pretty fucking busy these days. But... I do cook a lot, and I'm always looking for new things to try. So thanks, Emil. Take it easy. I'm going to go eat these things. Stay safe. Catch you next time.